I was kidnapped and strapped to the back of the seat. I couldn't breathe. Help, please, I need a doctor. Where are you taking me? Shut up. Stop faking. You were resisting. I said, you were resisting. So I was introduced to the Youth Justice Coalition when I was marching at uh, in Long Beach for someone who was murdered. Um, it was about like the fifth or sixth person to be murdered that summer. One main person who was like, hey, you should, you should come to one of the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition meetings. And so I went and, and that's when my very first meeting they were planning for the May Day um, and how they were going to be um, watching the watchers. So the Seattle Police Department had acquired these Dragon Flyer X6 drones and the community had a huge uproar and caused great concerns where it reached the attention of the mayor and the mayor then forced these um, Dragon Flyer X6 drones out of the hands of the police department and um, basically um, back last year, I um, believe it was March of 2014, was when the uh, LAPD acquired these drones from directly from the Seattle Police Department so they were donated to or gifted um, these drones. So um, the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition in response to LAPD getting yet another piece of militarized equipment uh, decided to to launch a No Drones LA campaign. So we're asking that the LAPD get rid of these drones, uh, either destroy them or return them to the manufacturer because we don't want them to be in somebody else's backyard. On the issue of militarization of LAPD through the use of the drones, the commission stated we will receive public comment on this issue. On the issue of fictitious body camera hearings, which the community clearly rejected any use of these cameras, the commission again stated in their letter they received public comment. No further details were issued. We have, you know, it's, uh, we have privacy concerns um, that, that this will um, be used as a way to, uh, it's called mission creep. So basically, they'll say that it's being used for certain scenarios, just like they did for the SWAT team when it was introduced. Um, and then they'll go ahead and uh, abuse their authority and then use it in, in any, case, any other cases that they uh, may deem to be necessary. You know, I really felt that my direct experience could, you know, just um, made me a lot more passionate about doing this work. It's not like I've never experienced it and I knew what I was looking out for um, firsthand. Incriminate a victim to justify your actions. I can't let this go, knowing you're still on patrol. I challenge the status quo, but the courts protect their own. And where do we complain? To the same organization that abuses us? It's like a game. These players have no shame. They cover up their tracks. They got each other's backs. It's not about the facts. It's about where you're at.